Alléluia, à ta Assembly, by the special grace of God, we are alive and kicking. We celebrate His Majesty for His great love, for His mercies that endure forever. My brother, my sister, by the special grace of if you are alive, you have to celebrate Him. We have to worship Him. We have to adore Him. We have to lift up His name above every other name. We have to love the Lord Jesus with an undying love. The most important thing is for you to know Jesus. As you begin a new month, we have begun by the special grace of God. Today happens to be 2nd August 
2020, we are alive and kicking. My brother, my sister, it's highly crucial, highly advisable to begin the month with the Lord Jesus so that you'll be able to end very well with the Lord Jesus. I want you to pray to the Lord Jesus. I rededicate my life to you. In the month of August, I rededicate my family unto you. Father, I rededicate all my loved ones unto you, the church, our nations. Father, have mercy upon us. In the name of Jesus, preserve our lives in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today we are going to discuss biblical denotations or connotations, biblical denotations and connotations of the number eight. By the special grace of God, we are in the month of August. That is the eighth month of the year. Hallelujah. The number eight. And what we are going to do is not just discussing numeracy or just kind of numerology and then that is the end. No, that's not what we're going to hear. We are going to base our prayer, everything, on the word of God. So we are going to embark on prayer of authenticity. We are going to pray according to the word of God. And according to the word of the Most High God, according to His word and according to His word, because the Lord Jesus, the Word of God, if you ask anything, you pray according to His word, according to the word of God. He said, "The word, the Almighty God, will hear us." So, based on our knowledge in numerology or the numbers, that the number eight, we will study the word, we will go through the scriptures. And based on that, we will cry unto God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, the Holy One of Israel. We will cry unto him, that Father, show us your grace by your way. Show us, give us new beginnings. So in short, number eight depicts, denotes new beginnings. And by the special grace of God, we are in a new month. And we pray, we, as we set the word of God, based on that, we pray that, Father, give our nations new beginnings. New beginning of peace. New beginning of salvation. New beginning of all round prosperity. New beginning of sound health, body fell salvation. New beginning of the disappearance of coronavirus. New beginning of destruction and the total elimination of coronavirus. On the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So that's going to be our focus this month of new beginnings. Glory be to God. Based on the word of God, we study the word, we read the word, that according to scriptures, according to the word of God, Father, do this for our nations. And that is what I term as prayer of authenticity. Prayer of authenticity. Prayer that does not fail. Glory be to his holy name. True prayer that we need to embark on to the glory and honor of His holy name. So even accounts, when we talk about new beginnings, among accounts, even in Ghana in particular, to be precise, number eight, before the child is born by the special grace of God, on the eighth day, that is the time the child is given a name. New begin of all identification. New begin of new status, new begin of acceptance, that they do accept the child, the baby, newborn baby, originally onto the family, onto the society, onto our community, onto this earth. So, the number eight is scriptural, and you just, just among accounts here, have not seen anything out of context, out of biblical context. We are going to do proper exegesis or hermeneutics based on the word of God. Not outside the way, not out of context. Glory be to God. So let's read quickly Luke chapter 2, verse 21. Luke chapter 2, verse 21. This happens in scripture, just as I said, and that enforces, that does echo or stress the point that even in Biblia, whatever we do here, even in Ghana, or a man account is scriptural. Listen carefully. A lot of us don't know so many things. A lot of things that you do on this earth, we do copy or plagiarize from the word of God. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 2, verse 21. Let's listen to the word of God. Jesus presented in the temple 
that is the heading. Jesus presented the introduced officially unto the church, unto the community, in the church. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus. The name the angel had given him before he had been conceived. He was given the name Jesus on the eighth day. May the Lord give you a new name as you are in the month of August, the month of August, the number eight, the eighth month of the year. May the Lord give you a new name, you that you have been afflicted, infected, and sick. May the Lord give you a new name. May the Lord heal you. May you remain strong, healthy, energetic. May the Lord give our nations new name in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May you be identified with the Lord Jesus. May you be introduced to the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the new beginning of our identification, acceptance. So I want you to pray that, Father, this month of new beginning. May I be accepted unto the body of Christ. Not just going to church. Some of you may be preachers. Some of you may be even apostles, prophets. But you don't know Jesus. You have not been accepted unto the body of Christ. The Lord Jesus does not know you. I want you to pray that, Father, this month of new beginning, may I be found in you. May I be identified in you. May I be accepted in Christ Jesus. Pray that, Father, originally, so it means that you have been born again. Now you know Jesus. You need to know Jesus this month. You need to be introduced to the Lord Jesus. My brother, my sister, we have to introduce somebody to the Lord Jesus this month of new beginnings. We have to introduce somebody to Christ Jesus. We have to help somebody to come to the serving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Pray the Father, this month of new beginnings. Give me new beginnings of identification. Father, give me new beginning of acceptance in you, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father, give me new beginning of acceptance in ministry, in preaching, in winning souls. Father, give me new beginnings. Not I will preach and preach and people don't want to accept you. Father, give me, that's my prayer topic. Father, give me new beginning of acceptance. I want to preach to people and they will accept you. Rightfully receive you, Jesus, to be their Lord and personal Savior. I want us all to pray that Father, give me new beginning of identification. Give me new beginning of joy. Give me new beginning of, Lord, new name. New beginning of name. Lord, give your children in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Now, quickly, that there's the introduction. We move on to the word. We are going to start from Genesis, the beginning. For you to know all that you are saying. That is not out of context. We are starting from Genesis. 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 The beginnings of the scriptures. We are going to start. When you read Genesis chapter 1, Jesus said the beginning. Our beginning. We are starting to the glory of God. We are starting. And as we are in the month of August, this new beginning can be positive or negative. We have to be careful how we live our life. How we live our lives. As church, we have to be careful. We have to be careful. I saw a church. Okay, I meet this morning. Hallelujah. Not physical, spiritual. Then, then the church that was going, nobody was even observing any social distancing. They were not even on face masks. I want us to, I want to advise all of us. Let's be careful wherever you go. Whatever you go. That's why the fact that the president has said that in respect of any number, we can be there for two hours and all that. Be vigilant. Be careful. Be careful, my brother, my sister. Personally, uh, it seems, it seems, that as a person, be careful. It seems, okay, that the, that this the restrictions, the youthful restrictions might have been eased, okay, in order to permit Probably, our politicians to embark on political activities. So be careful. That's what I'm telling you. Be careful, my brother, my sister. Be careful. It seems the the, the, the restrictions 
Okay? All the useful restrictions, even body torture and all that view, have been lifted or eased in order to allow, pave the way for political activities. Glory be to God. I may be wrong, but you have to reflect. And we are here to see what is going to what's going to happen. May the Holy Spirit help us in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So what I'm saying is that we are talking about new beginnings, and the new beginnings can be positive or negative. So be careful. Be in Christ. Be in the Lord Jesus. Stay focused. May the Holy Spirit help us in the name of our Lord. And so Genesis chapter two. Let's go through the scriptures quickly, just as I said. I'll go through just four or five points and then we'll continue God's willing next week. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 2, verse 8. Now listen carefully. Chapter 2, verse 8. We are all considering 8, 8, 8, 8. That's why we have to take note here. Everywhere we go, our focus is number 8. We may read a Bible where specifically a particular verse may we not see number 8, but the content must be picked or show number 8. And based on that, we are back on our prayer of authenticity. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden. And there he put the man he had formed. The, listen carefully. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden. And there he put the man he had formed. What can we deduce from here? We can see new beginning of establishment. God establishing man. God establishing us. And we can see new beginning of settlement. New beginning of planting. God planting us in the garden of Eden. Man in the garden of Eden. God giving an abode to man. God establishing man. God settling man. That is new begin of settlement. I pray that whatever you have been going through, may the Lord God Almighty settle it for you in the name of Jesus. So the prayer topic is that Father, based on this, God created and He has to settle you. Whatever you are, may the Almighty God settle you there. May the Almighty God establish you there. If God does establish, does God set you a particular place, help you to be well rooted, well grounded there. No power, no demon can destroy, can approve to control you in the name of Jesus. So I want you to pray, wherever you are, the Father, we are in the month of new beginning. When you created man, you sent him, you planted him in the garden of Eden. You gave him settlement, you established him. Father, establish me in the name of Jesus. This man gave me new beginning of establishment, new beginning of settlement. Settle every case in my life, particularly all over the world, what is confronting us, the problem of coronavirus pandemic we are praying that lord jesus this month of new beginning settle this case of coronavirus everywhere in the name of the lord jesus father settle this destroy it in the name of jesus destroy it read it out in the name of Jesus, in the month of August, give us all new beginning, new beginning, new beginning of disappearance of coronavirus, new beginning of the death, destruction, total inhalation of coronavirus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, may it be so. In the name of Jesus, whatever problem, whatever issue that your children have gone through, Father, settle this. Father, settle it for us. In the name of Jesus, may the Almighty God establish you. May the Almighty God plant you in Him. May the Almighty God. May May the Almighty God settle every case, every issue in your life. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, may that be your portion in Jesus' name. So that is prayer of authenticity. Glory be to God. We pray according to scriptures. We pray according to the word of God. Because the word of God says, when you pray according to his will, when you pray according to his will, he hears us. May the Almighty God hear you as you embark on prayer of authenticity. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as you are being part of this program, I pray that may the Almighty God give you new beginning of establishment. 
establishment. New beginning. New beginning of settlement. May the Almighty God settle you in every aspect of life. May the Almighty God settle you ministerially. May the Almighty God settle you academically. May the Almighty God settle you professionally. May the Almighty God settle you in every aspect of life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory be to his holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. So we continue. Now Genesis chapter 6 verse 8. Let's continue quickly. Genesis chapter 6 verse 8. We are going to go through that. Throughout the month. You will be blessed. Your life is never going to be the same. Wherever you are, you can share this message. And the Almighty God will bless you. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now let's read quickly. Genesis chapter 6. You can be read from verse 5. So that you understand it in context. But we are going to end at verse 8. We will end it at verse 8. Genesis chapter 6. The heaven is a flood. The coming of the flood. The Lord decided to destroy. Okay. To wipe. Everybody. Everything on this earth. Was flat. But let's listen to what happened. Now. Oh you can even read from verse 8. When men began to increase in number. Verse 8. Verse 1. We read from 6. Verse 1. Quickly. When men began to increase in number on the earth, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. Glory be to God. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with man forever, for, his, for he is mortal. His days will be a hundred and twenty years. The, the Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterwards. And the sons of God went to the daughters of men and had children by them. They were the heroes of all men of renown. The Lord saw how great man's weaknesses. The Lord saw how man's weaknesses. The Lord saw how man's wickedness, 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 wickedness on the earth has become. And that every inclination of the cause of his heart was only evil all the time. The inclinations of all of us, almost everybody everywhere is evil, is demonic, is devilish all the time. Hmm. That might be the reason for God permitting a learn coronavirus. Into this age, my brother, my sister. Let's be careful and study the word of God. Now let's continue quickly. And verse says, The Lord was grieved. The Lord was saddened that he had made man on the earth. And his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, verse 8. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind whom I have created from the face of the earth. Men and animals, not just mankind, but men and animals, everything, every living thing, I will wipe it. The Lord God said, I will wipe it away. I will wipe it away. Whom I have created, the Lord said, I will wipe mankind. He decided that the future. He said, I'm going to do it. And let's see whether he, was, he really did it. He did do it, but did he include everybody? Let's continue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I will wipe mankind whom I have created from the face of the earth, men and animals. Listen carefully. This is so self explanatory But I do not think that only men, only people, that the Lord God Almighty was going to wipe away or that he decided to do so. And creatures, they move along the ground. <laughs> Including insects, everything that is living on the earth. He was going to create, he was going to destroy it. But let's listen carefully. And best of the air, if you best of the air. Hallelujah. For I am grieved that I have made them. Verse 7 and the, Now verse 8, listen carefully. They're going to have contradiction here. Contradictory statement. Hallelujah. It's going to be opposite to, 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 like, to nullify certain things. Certain parameters. Things God himself has decided to do. But... Verse 8 said, But Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. But Noah found favor in the sight of the Lord. Verse 8. Verse 8. Verse 8. Now, we 
you can you can see coronavirus. You don't need anybody to give you any statistics or any data for you to know what has been happening, what has gone on so far. The, 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 what do you call it? The outbreak of coronavirus. You know what has been happening. We are praying that Father exempt me, exempt my family. But that, that we are going to pray for new beginning of grace. In actual fact, that is the first time when we said the Bible right from Genesis where we saw grace being manifested by the special grace of God. New beginning of grace. New beginning of grace. New beginning of grace. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. In the sight of the Lord. In the eyes of the Lord. Using eyes here, it can be termed as well, synodity or metonymy. That is using the power to represent the whole. So it's God in, before, in the sight of the Lord. Noah found grace. Noah found grace. We have prayed the Father in the, in the wake of coronavirus. In the wake of this pandemic. Let us all find grace in your sight. In the name of Jesus. Let us all, let your church give us new beginning of grace. We need the whole world. I'm, I'm telling you. The whole world needs new beginning of God's grace. That's what you need. Mr. President, you need new beginning of God's grace. Mr. Prime Minister, you need new beginning of God's grace. Mr. Politician, you need new beginning of God's grace. Oh, and Sandri, we need new beginning of God's grace. What is happening now? The whole world, we need new beginning of God's grace. This is the prayer we have to pray. That Father, we must have all come wayward. We must have all sinned. And because of that, you have allowed coronavirus for people to be infected, afflicted, and die. But Lord, let us find grace in your sight. Give us, we are in the month of new beginnings. We are in the month of new beginnings. We are in the month of new beginnings. And as according to your word, Father, verse 8, you gave Noah grace. You, you found grace in your sight. Let us find grace in your sight. Let us find grace in your sight. Let us find grace in your sight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, let us find grace. Let us find grace in your sight. In your sight. In your sight. In the eyes of the Lord. Father, may you find grace. May your children find grace. May the church find grace. May our nation find grace. In the sight of the Lord. May our leaders find grace. May all and sundry find grace. Find grace in the name of Jesus. And when we talk about grace, grace, grace. Grace is the unmerited favor. What we don't deserve to have, may you have in this month of new beginning. What we don't deserve, some of us don't deserve to live, oh, we don't deserve to be alive. It's not by his grace that we are alive. It's pure grace. So don't say that somebody is no more, somebody is dead because of his sin, because of her sin. No, my brother, my sister, we are alive by his grace. We are alive by his grace. We are alive by his grace. I want you to pray that, Father, this month of new beginnings, give your church new beginning of your grace. Give our family new beginning of your grace. Give our nations new beginning of your grace. Give all oh, Ghana in particular or wherever you come from, wherever you hear from, I want you to be specific. I want you to particularize it. That Father, give my nation your grace. Let us experience new beginning of your grace. New beginning of your grace. When there is new beginning of God's grace, I hope and believe strongly that we shall see the end of coronavirus in the name of Jesus. We shall see the end of any infection, any affliction in the name of Jesus. We shall see the end of any distraction. We we shall see, we shall see the end of God's anger. God's wrath, we shall see it. In the name of Jesus, let us pray that. Father, give us new beginning of your grace. Give us new beginning of your grace. Give us new beginning of your grace. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Quickly, let's turn our Bibles to Genesis chapter 7, verse 13. And then we are going to see eight things over there as well. Genesis chapter 7, verse 13. Genesis chapter 7, verse 13. On that day, let's see the number of people that God chose them. Yeah, that entered in the ark. Ah, hallelujah. Now, listen carefully. On that very day, how many people were saved on the ark? We are going to look at it. 
Hallelujah. Whether it's seven, whether it's three, I pray that we are in the month of November 8th. May the Almighty God save you. If the Almighty God is going to save eight people, may you be one of them. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. On that very day, Noah and his sons, Sham, Ham, and Jephthah, Japheth, Ham, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, together with his, how many children, how many people, Noah and his sons, okay, and there are three here, four, together with his wife, okay, uh, okay, together with his wife, how many, together with his wife, that would be five, is that not him, Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. That makes four. That's four. And then his wife. That is five. Is that not it? And the wives of his three sons. The wives of his three sons. That would be how many? The wives of his three sons. Three wives. So how many? That would be eight. Glory be to God. Enter the ark. May you enter into God's salvation now. In the name of Jesus. Enter the ark. Eight people were saved. Eight people were saved on the ark. God saved eight people. I want you to pray. That is the new beginning of God's salvation. That is the new beginning of God's salvation, oh my brother, my sister. This month, you need to experience God's salvation. In the name, heartfelt salvation. You need to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to, it should be a new beginning of salvation. Salvation, salvation, salvation. And for you to have salvation, you need to repent of your sins. You need to repent of your sin. We need to give your life to the Lord Jesus. Begin to repent of your sin now. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. This month of new beginning, let me experience new beginning of your salvation. New beginning of God's salvation. New beginning of God's salvation. The whole world needs new beginning of God's salvation. We all need God's New beginning of his salvation. We need his, the beginning of his salvation. In the name of Jesus. Father, may this month new begin of salvation. May we experience new beginning of salvation all over the world. May we see more people coming to the serving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus. New begin of salvation. New begin of salvation. New begin of salvation. New begin of I want to, you that you don't know Jesus. I know I have some of you. Some of you to be my friends on Facebook. Ha. Huh? On YouTube, you don't know Jesus. Please, this is the time you need to give your life to Jesus. We are in the new beginning. And this is new beginning of salvation. New beginning of salvation. New beginning of salvation. You need to be saved. You need to repent of your sins. Jesus loves you. Give your life to the Lord Jesus. Don't die and go to hell. We are in the month of August. The eighth month of the year. Repeating new beginning of salvation. Repent of your sin now. Give your life to Jesus. Begin to pray that Jesus, I want to experience. God Almighty, I want to experience new beginning of your of my mouth. That Jesus is Lord and that God you raised him from the dead. Dear Lord Jesus, save me today. Let him experience new beginning of your salvation. New beginning of your salvation. In the month of new beginning. Lord Jesus, let me experience new beginning of your salvation. Let me experience. Pray this prayer. Whatever you are. Pray the Lord. Let me experience new beginning of your salvation. In the name of Jesus. All the sad guys. All the first prophets. God's salvation. You need to be saved. You need to give your life to the Lord Jesus. All the 419 friends that I have you, you know you are, you are there. You are listening to me right now. Some of you are false. You are fake. Oh, some of you are devilish. Some of you don't know Jesus. You need to give your life to Jesus. You need to repent of your sin now. All oh, my friends, all oh, my classmates, all oh, my loved ones, my family members, I want you to experience. The Lord Jesus wants you to experience new beginning of his Hello, glory be to God. I welcome you back in the name of Jesus. Sorry for that interruption for poor internet connectivity. Glory be to his holy name. Hallelujah. So pray the Father this month of new beginning. Let me experience a new beginning of your salvation. New beginning of your salvation. New beginning of your salvation. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May you experience new beginning of God's salvation. May you experience, may our nations, may our family members, our loved ones, Father, may they experience new beginning of your salvation. When you talk about salvation, salvation depicts both heartfelt salvation and salvation. I pray that may you be saved.
from every sickness, from every disease, from untimely death, from every infection, every affection, every affliction, every infirmity, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that may you experience the salvation of your soul. That's the most important thing. May you make it to heaven. May you receive Jesus to be your Lord and personal Savior. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. Our last one before we end. Yeah, we call it a day. We continue on God's will next week. Hallelujah. Let's read Genesis chapter 8, verse 1. Genesis chapter 8, verse 1. But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark. Hallelujah. May God remember you and all those you cherish, you love as family members. May the Almighty God remember you. May the Almighty God remember you. May the when you talk about remembrance here, yeah? new beginning of remembrance. New beginning of remembrance. Because it happened what they were going to. It looks as if there was no hope for them. It looks like that was the end of life. What we are going through all over the world, it seems the world is coming to an end. Everything has come to stand still. But I want us to pray that Father, remember me. Though I don't remember my sin. You get it? The whole issue, you have to be careful here whilst you are praying. Some of us have gone wayward. Some of us have been so stubborn, so recalcitrant, so lukewarm, so lackadaisical in everything that you do in life as children of God. We are praying the Father, please don't remember my evil deeds. Father, for my evil deeds, don't remember, but remember me because of your mercy. Remember me because of your grace and mercy. Remember me, remember me, and deliver me from sicknesses and diseases, from infection, from affliction, from death, from shame, in the name of Jesus. Father, remember Ghana. God, may you not remember Ghana because of our sins, because of our evil deeds. If, he, if God does remember us because of what just that young lady killed the way they brutalized that old woman, 90 year old woman. If God does remember, hey, can we stand the wrath of God? Can we stand the anger of the Almighty God? We cannot bear it. We cannot stand it. So, all that we need pe killing people, destroying precious lives, including false prophets. Politicians shedding blood, destroying precious life. It was their quest to become popular and powerful. If God does remember this, where, where are we going to stand as a nation? All over the world. Some nations legalizing homosexuality, lesbianism. In short, same-sex marriage. If God does remember that, God does see it. Where will you stand? Where will you stand? Indulging abortions. Destroy precious lives. Where will you stand? So we are saying that, Father, please don't remember me because of my sin. Remember me because of your mercy. Remember our nations because of your mercy. Because Lord Jesus, the word of God says, he doesn't want the destruction, the death of anybody. What God desires. What God takes delight in, that all, everybody will come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Will come to true repentance. Will experience true to repentance. So we are praying that Father, remember me in the name of Jesus. Father, remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Give me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Let me experience new beginning of your remembrance in the name of Jesus. New beginning of God's remembrance. Father, let us experience it. Remember us. Remember our nations. Remember our family. Remember our loved ones in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father, remember us. Father, remember us. Father, remember us. Father, remember us. Eradicate you. Eradicate you. Eradicate him. Eradicate. May the Almighty God remember you. May the Almighty God remember you. May the God of new beginnings, may you give you new beginning of joy, new beginning of grace, new beginning of protection, new beginning of preservation, new beginning of all-round prosperity, spiritual prosperity, 
academic prosperity, material prosperity, as well as financial prosperity. May the Almighty God bless you. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you. May the God of new beginnings, this month of new beginnings, may he give you new beginning of joy. May he give you new beginning of salvation. May the Almighty God give you new beginning of salvation. May the Almighty God give you new beginning of salvation. Both heartfelt and body felt salvation. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And may the Almighty God remember you. May the Almighty God remember you. May the Almighty God remember you not because of your sin, but because of his mercy and grace. May the God of all grace and mercy be gracious and be merciful unto you. And may he give you new beginnings. New beginning in life, in every aspect of life. You are blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. I pray shortly that all those who want to give your life to the Lord Jesus, I want you to pray. We saw that in Genesis chapter 7 verse 13, that God will give you new beginning of salvation. Pray once again that Father, give me new beginning of your salvation. I confess. That Jesus is Lord. And believe in my heart. That God raised him from the dead. Jesus. Save me today. Have mercy on me. I give you my spirit. My soul. And my body. Dear Lord Jesus. Please write my name. In the book of life. Please write my name. In heaven. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for saving me today. I love you, Jesus. I celebrate your majesty. I am, by the special grace of God, an mighty citizen of heaven. Praise the Lord. God bless you now and forevermore. And may the Almighty God, the God of new beginnings, give you new beginnings of peace, love, preservation, protection, more grace, overflowing grace, multiplication of grace, now and forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. God bless you. See you. God's willing next week, next Wednesday. At our school of discipleship. Be part of it. And your life is never, never going to be the same. In the name of Jesus. This is Better Prayer Ministry International. Upper Wedja and New Gwari Malam Assembly. I, by the special grace of God, I will be the pastor, the minister of the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in charge of this assembly. Glory be to God. My name is Michael Ousutebi. Stay blessed now and forevermore in Jesus' name. God bless you. Goodbye.